Once again, details, spectacular. Hey, how you going guys? Thanks for tuning in to Hearns TV once again. And it's me, Dan, and um, I'd like to welcome all you model enthusiasts back. And I'm gonna take you through another unboxing video today for a really cool plane. And a, uh, a, uh, this one is was, was the first of her kind, actually. Um, guys, please to be meeting the Gloucester Meteor the uh, F4 model in particular. And um, as you can see, a bit of a simple design, but beautiful nonetheless. Now, the Gloucester Media was the first Allied jet fighter of the Second World War. Uh, first flew in 1943, and it went into service in 1944. Considered to be the counterpart of the German Messerschmitt 262, although no, they did not meet each other in combat ever. Um, and it did shoot down some uh, V1 flying bombs though. Uh, yeah, so the Gloucester Media was uh, about 4,000 uh, were built in total through um, all, of the, uh, all of the variants. And um, this particular one, the uh, F4 was exported to Argentina, uh, Denmark, Belgium, and even Egypt, I think as well. Uh, yeah, so the um oh the royal air force actually used the gloucester media all the way up to the no up to 1980 as a target tug as well so yeah all right let's have a look at let's have a look at this kit and um get to i'll tell you a little bit more about it as we go along but yeah as you can see look at that box art is spectacular you can really see the design philosophy in this was very very simple very uh, world war ii thinking with the uh, you know, straight wings and the engines just, uh, you know, set midway, set midway on, along the wings. Um, but yeah, it, beautiful nonetheless. It really was a gorgeous plane. Uh, 32 scale uh, from Hong Kong models. So yeah, all right, let's have a look on the inside. The um, Royal Australian Air Force actually used the Gloucester Media as well. Um, not the F4 model, I don't think, but they operated about 113 of them uh, from 1946 to up until 1952. So extensive service in Korea, as a matter of fact, more of it as a ground attack um, uh, and close air support, but it did succeed in destroying six MiG-15s. Um, so yeah, all right, we'll start with the instructions. And once again, there's that beautiful picture that we saw on the front of the box. Nice, big, glossy paper. Would have been nice if there was a little bit of color though. And, and there you have the three, oh, there's not that many sprues. That doesn't look like there's gonna be a lot of parts to this one. And then, yeah, takes you through the construction process. Oh, not, not a lot of steps with that one. And here we have um, the markings and uh, a paint scheme. Once again, it would, it would have been nice if that was in that was in color. I like the stripes though. Have a look at that. Yeah. Alrighty. Now let's have a look at the pieces. Uh, like, like I was saying, 32 scale. So it is going to be a very big kit. And here we have the fuselage along there. Pieces of the fuselage and some of the uh, some of the control surfaces there. I'll give you a better look a little closer. Maybe you can see some of the details. The panels uh, detail is very good, actually. Very, very good. Very fine details. A um, little bit indented, actually. I uh, uh, don't know if the camera can show you. And here's the firing ports for its uh, uh, main armament, the uh, four 20 millimeter cannons in the, uh, in the nose. It could also carry rockets under the wings and two 2,000 pound bombs. And here's would be the front of the air intakes. That would be, was it like on the front of the engines? All right. And the engines had a maximum speed of about 950 kilometers per hour and uh, had a range of uh, about 970 kilometers on a full tank of fuel. And the next one we have, ah, this would be, I think this is the upper part of the wings. And uh, yeah. Yes, it looks to be the upper part of the wings. Once again, details, spectacular. To tiny little details there. Excellent. And here, this is be the, the landing gear, the front and the nose, where the, um, 
where the wheel would retract back into the fuselage and interior of the cockpit and the uh, all of the instruments that the pilot would have and this is the covering we would go over some of the landing gear and here they are there the tires um, and wheels and once again like on some of the other Hong Kong models a little bit of a flat part there so that's the the part that would be resting uh, on the ground so once again you know jets are going to put a little bit of pressure on those tires and then there's more wheel covers covers there blitzing through this kit so let's have a look at this one and ah this is the weight that you would put in the nose to uh, balance it out so let's chuck that over there yes here we have the underside of the fuselage just along here this is the the uh the engines and this is where in here this is where the landing gear would retract underneath the aircraft and more of the flaps would go there and we've got more of the the tail pl uh, tailplane control surfaces there and then the additional fuel tank that went under the belly that you could add if you wanted to yeah put that over there and geez that's nearly it and there you have the uh you have the canopy there it's um excellent field of view actually on the uh on the media on the meteor and let's have a look see at and then we have the decals there the uh for the two different uh the two different color schemes that were on the box and here oh, we also have the argentinian the argentinian air force there oh you now if i made this kit i'd make it in the argentinian colors just for something different and um that's it that's it geez absolutely blitzed through that kit uh that doesn't not a lot of parts to that one so yeah anyway well if you're after something big that's a more of a simple build that you can really fixate on um painting and details um yeah i'd say this is the one for you we've got a couple of these in stock actually uh they would make a really really good christmas present for um anybody who's into into military aviation but yeah hong kong models check them out fantastic fantastic kits very good quality and uh well this one probably the shortest one yet so i hope you like that um tune in next time guys i'll have something awesome to show you again um, don't forget to like and subscribe uh hope to see you in the store soon and as always rock and roll see you later